Hi, it's Eric with CAD Avenue. Today, I just wanted to give you a brief tour of AvuCAD 2024 and some of the new features that you'll find inside of it. So first thing that you may see is a new view cube here that we've added. So this allows you to go into, let's say, a Southwest view by clicking on this corner here. You can also put your cursor over the top here and then just simply drag it to go right into your orbit command. One thing as well, you can rotate your viewing so that let's say if you're working in a plan view, you could more easily add things in different orientations like so. You'll see here that you're in the world coordinate system. If you click on this arrow here, you can go into view cube settings and you can disable certain things like showing the UCS menu then toggling off and on different behaviors here. Another thing that we've added in 2024 is the ability to import Revit 2022 file types. So you'll find that in your import menu here. Also, the tool palette's been improved. For example, if I were to create, let's say, a rectangle and then extrude the rectangle up, by let's say a couple of feet. This now becomes a box. And if I take this and I drag it into my tool palette, you'll notice that it creates a box entity. When I pick it and drag it out, it's gonna automatically go into drawing a box. And I should mention that you can drag any entity type into the tool palette and it will create a shortcut to draw that same type of entity. Let me go up here and turn on a few layers. I want to show you another feature. You'll also find a new command called lay merge. Come down here and select name or type N for name. Let's say if I wanted to merge the text layer into the notes layer, I could pick the text layer here, press enter, press N for name again and pick the notes layer. And then if I go into my layer dialog, you'll see that the text layers been merged together with the notes layer. Another command that might be useful is the ability to change the font and the font size type in your command line. Type in OP for options, go into your display tab here, click on the font button here, Increase it to, let's say, 16 here, and choose a font here from this list here, and then choose OK. And then, as you can see, the size of the font has increased down here. This size actually also comes in handy when you're using dynamic mode input. So, as I type in REC, notice how much bigger the text is in this list here. So that setting also affects this display here. Next, I wanted to show you what's new inside the table command. There's been several improvements. This one is especially useful. So when you insert your table, you can insert it from a data link. This means you can go to your Excel spreadsheet and then add a link here from your hard drive then when you update your Excel table, you will also be updating your table in your drawing. I do have a video planned to show you on how to use this tool. I think it's a very powerful feature, especially if you're creating tables with notes or bill of materials and so forth. Lastly, I wanted to show you a command that allows you to take a line and then break the line. If you type in the break at point command, select the line here, you could break it, let's say at the midpoint, and then you'd have a line on both sides. Real simple yet powerful command if you're doing that sort of thing. If you're using earlier versions of AviCAD, you'll notice a significant improvement in speed and functionality. So be sure to take advantage of our upgrade prices. And also for new users, it's a great time to get started with AviCAD. I think you'll have a hard time finding quality tools at an affordable price like we offer with AviCat. So I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.